All right. Um, hey guys, go going back here with Cam Wrestling. So, yep, going to do a race. Um, what seven on the season here? Um, with this series and hopefully the red dot. Okay, I know it says show the red dot actually on my OBS now for my computer. So we're going to race nine here on the series of Dover um tonight. So I don't know why I think I did say halfway was like Chicago lane all season. Now I think about it, it might be Michigan. It's Michigan. Oddly seems like it would be race number 11 on season four. This uh, career mode, first season to career mode. Yeah, 22 races here on the season, and this is what the points look like after the first eight races. Um, I did Charlotte earlier. Um, Jimmy Johnson won the race. Um, you, you can go back and watch if you want to. Um, well, watch me uh, cause a big one on lap one and then kind of just uh, handicap the field a little bit. So after that race, well, it's kind of during the race, I kind of noticed the AI, they like very slow up a lot um, on the track. Most of the AI except for the leader. So, basically, what I just did, um, I did a test, like, three, four, five laps of Dover um, in race mode on the difficulty that the game um, put on. Actually, I'll explain it more in a little bit. Basically, I had to put on the difficulty the game has to put on, and it actually went pretty well. But how do we get the points here going into Dover? I am the points leader as the rookie. rookie I'm currently the rookie of the year leader over Casey Kane, and it's a 66-point gap. This is the top 20 out of 32 drivers. Sterling Marlin is sitting uh, 21st, Nemechek 22nd, Ricky Rudd 23rd, Robbie Gordon, Brian Vickers, Terry Labonte are really notables behind that, then Jeff Burton actually got 29th in points after Charlotte. But yeah, Jamie's second points, Kurt Busch, so a little ways back now in third. Jamie McMurray, like I said, he's really a dark horse on the season right now, sitting in fourth, Jeff Gordon in fifth, and they are actually a decent gap behind me and Jamie right now in the points. Um, of course, part of that is because we both have two wins. And usually, the more wins you have, you get 10 points per win, 10 bonus points per win, so that does really help there. Um, yeah, Mark Martin, six in standings here. Dale Jr., he was looking like a very strong contender. He got worked at Auto Club. Um, Tony Stewart right there, he fell back a little bit. Elias Allen is still top 10. Bobby Labonte fell back after um, the big crash he had at the end of the 600. He wasn't really running in the top. Well, he was about top 20 when the wreck happened. But I know we live to the top 20 as well. Yeah, Kane, Newman, Biffle, Walter. Walter is probably up here, actually, in my opinion. Dale Jarrett, too. Um, Harvick. Kenseth, um, yeah, he's been very quiet so far for some reason. Jerry Mayfield, he's had some good runs and some bad runs. Um, Rusty Wallace, back top 20. Casey Mears, definitely a surprise sitting inside the top 20 at the moment. See, so yeah, like I said, you're Dover. So I just did a little bit of a test run um, on the current difficulty, what I am going to do. I'm actually going to keep it on that difficulty for this race. I'm going to give myself a bigger challenge in the race. I'm going to qualify on the same thing as well. I made the setup to what well, my setups always are already, so that's already put in the game. Also, I guess I'm talking about something else too, the diecast racing, because I did just get the Daytona 500 put together, and um, the race is almost ready to be commentated. I want my tablet charge before I do it. So I'm going to probably talk about that too. So just a little bit um, kind of major... Uh, Possible changes for the future of the channel I should probably go over. Um, mostly with the main viewers of the channel, because it stuff will probably look different if I do what I'm probably going to do, which I tried this um, in 2021 as well, and it didn't really work as well as it should have. But yeah, we'll uh, see. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit, but yeah, we'll see. Um, well, hopefully, we'll see what happens. This, this will probably, it'll probably improve the quality of the channel, too, probably. I don't know. But yeah, let me qualify first, and I'll talk to more about that here in the uh, race here. Okay, here comes your first time lap. <laughs> what scares me, this is also a 60 lap race again. Oh, and I have overshot it in turn one here. I have raced over before in the game, but it's been a while. Is the game want me to write Casey Kane again? Yeah, I'll go get a race here. But yeah, definitely a surprisingly good lap for what I thought I was going to get. Actually, did I fall back any anymore? Oh, uh, no, I'm still Drivers second. Okay, so it's Kane, car. me, Jarrett. Jimmy's our 10th, so 
right now the main battle is between me and Jimmy in the points lead right now at the moment. Um, Jeff Gordon out there, Jimmy Murray, Kurt Busch, they're all in the top 10. Dale Jr., Case Kane outside of the top 10 in the points, the second rookie in the points right now this season. But yeah, we'll get your Dover, and whenever we get to a good spot in the race, I'll uh, talk about what I was heading towards a few, few moments ago. Um, but yeah, we'll get into here in a second. I also forgot to share the stream Discord, but it ain't going to matter. People will probably notice I'm live anyway. And they have notifications on for the channel. Driver, stop your engines! Because we go to your Dover. Me and uh, my rookie rival, Case Kane, we um, got into each other. And one of the last concrete race, we both got, kind of got into a spat on the racetrack. You know, another concrete track I should add to is probably going to be Nashville. That would probably be a couple a couple years from now. I'll probably do that during the COT season. Actually, no. I think I was going to do that um, for 2011. Whenever the course with the Tucker came in, do Nashville instead. We'll see if that happens. That's really bad. So that's the thing. That's all I'm going to talk about with this stuff. Get stuff ready now. Right. Going green. <laughs> Don't pass the leader of the other painting line. Paint cars in. All right, Kane, get in front of me so that way I ain't going to get ain't gonna get a jump on you. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, green, green, green. 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 Check. Oh man, so they all they all wrecked. Matt Kenseth is done for the day. Was it just from that hit with Biffle? Yeah, it was. Just hit with Biffle there. So finally a crash. I did not cause here. Like I think I said in 600, I need to stop um getting to dumb incidents in the races. And luckily I was not part of this dumb incident here. And I'd bring back McMurray. Car got McMurray. Okay, okay, okay. Car, 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 stop, stop, stop. Get on the brakes. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna pair up and get, get some repairs that just uh probably miss my car a little bit. Mid road is now open. So Kins is the only one out right now at the moment. Limit 35. Keep it under yeah, 3,000. Yeah, that's right. I started back and I did the eight car. I moved eight to car the top on the front one in my lap four, five, five or six. So that's... That was kind of normal in the in the test runs I did, but in Rockingham and Atlanta. So I was like, yeah. Remember, the don't okay. pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. The pace cars in so, turn one, 50, I thought it was going to be a real just in four, case my tires three, got messed six. up or anything from hitting the wall too hard. Um, and I didn't really like an idiot. The pace cars in turn two. But, yeah, you know, I don't need to get better at pulling my pit You're too far forward. Back up. Um, I can't back up game. Dang it. Keep it to 35. Keep it under oh, well, 3,000 in it. second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the five car. Yeah, so now I'm going to start starting back to three. Don't merge yet. You didn't okay. exit the pit safely. Okay, you've got to go to the end of the longest line. Don't okay, merge yet. So, so we're right now. 
All right, well, behind the make sure my tires car are bad. Down the end of the painting line. All right, they're, they're good. It's just start the race anyway. Lot six, okay. So I guess I can talk about it real quick. So basically, um, so when I was putting the, the Daytona 500 together on my, for um, the, the race, so whenever whenever I was like, I got done with all the editing for putting the race together, and then I basically went to um, the Google Docs app on my tablet. So basically, I'm going to say this right now. I've had this same tablet since... Um, I graduated eighth grade, and so it's been nearly seven years since I've owned this tablet. So, yeah, it's, and it's been a tab this tablet has also been basically used for every stop motion race on my channel. So basically, I kind of feel like the tablet is getting very old to like where it's not really one really useful minute twenty one the next point year. So four, I think one to one it. stay behind the old one like car stay on the end of the pacing line. A few months or so right now. So. I, I was kind of debating, you know, I looked up, like, tablets that hopefully with good camera quality. Cause that, that's the biggest thing. But I got I got the tablet using the tree track now back in 2020, Christmas is the 2019 version. And the camera quality sucks, and I'm just really scared. If I get, like, a later, ver latest version of it, like a Galaxy Tab A tablet. First off, the camera is not in a good position for, like, what I'd like to do with an uh, Apple one, but it would be the same way. Why even, even check, why are you trying to pass me something? So, basically, I'm just trying to debate if I want to get a new tablet, either do, like, Apple or Android. The only issue with doing the Android, like, the newer stuff, the new stop motion maker I tried to use in back in 2021 was crap. Um, the video, I believe, I think Video Shop worked on it, or I had another video editor that, editor that would have worked, but on the Video Shop didn't. We're going green next time by. Stay on the end of the longest the line. Stay behind the O-1 car on the outside line. Stay on the end of the longest line. Stay behind the O-1 car oh, so on the outside line. Stay on the end right. of the longest but line. Basically, so one it's just like minute, I'm scared, 18, like getting like an Android tablet that's oh, newer, and it's just the quality is like down on it. Cause, I mean, this the 2016 tablet, it still has really good quality for my diecast races, and it's done very well. But if I get an Apple tablet, I'm not sure what the quality is going to be. It'll probably be just like just as good, or probably like my iPhone's quality. Like, if you see my pictures for some thumbnails with the cars being burned and stuff, that's taken on my iPhone. The photos I post of qualifying results are taken on my iPhone. Not on my tablet. My tablet usually will get like very far back in this, but blurry, but you see the blurry and so Also, with other stuff. But, yeah, and I, and I did look up the apps. The only I, I can get video shop and a, probably good screen. I think I get the same screen. Get before. ready now. Going green. I for, for the current tablet with the Thomas races. Pit car that tablet. It's just that I don't know what good stop motion has to use on there. Because one issue I had with the, the newer tablet too, Stop Motion. Green, green, green! And of course some races, like the length of the parts of it will go over the photos of the app to make stop motion. One, so, seven, it's just like a really big debate oh, like right now. Like what what does the channel really like what do I need to make the channel like really good? You know, maybe I should get the fast set for this car because I can't do this kind of with this car on the long runs. But yeah, it's just like just debating all that right now in my head here. Like, do I want to go and get a new tablet now? Five, point, Start eight, using it two, pretty soon. Two. I want to be used for like the four side races because I'll probably have to go get it myself on an off day or go look look for one off day. But it's just like all that. I mean, I could also I know like Google Pixel has like phone stuff that you can use as great quality photos to like do stuff with. But of course, I mean, I'm just using I just use it to make stop motion races. I don't want to use it for really. Twenty five point two seven three. And yeah, we had a great restart there, but yeah. So we just we're slow here. We actually get good. We Clear outside. Car outside. You know, I really wanted to pin there, but then the guy's like, you pull too far back up. Clear. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a reverse gear this far because my reverse gear doesn't work. The curve bus should definitely work there. Having a big race right now. Yeah, Kurt Bush is leading 
So one thing I'm going to do is, um, yeah, going into race 12, because that'll be the halfway mark of the season, I will show the points um, before the start of race 12. Um, and I can probably guess maybe who's going to be in the points lead after race 11, which should be in Michigan. Sonoma might be starting to take out the season. Yeah, Sonoma, that's going to be, uh, 20, six, that's going to be probably the first oh, race where I really set the season maybe right now. Like, where I really do bad and I can't do anything about it. Or, heck, I might somehow get in the lead. Right now, we're in third zone. But yeah, I reigned over before, too, in this game, so I'm not surprised I'm running this well right now. But I did, I did Dover, um, for the 92 season I tried doing. Remember, I was trying out random things to do this stuff here. Point but so oh far, I'm also surprised oh. with the leadership. I've not quit doing this career mode, but I think it's also part of me just wanting to do this for fun and kind of, it, there's like a, there's like a, a motivation for me to really do this with career mode, like have like my own style of a NASCAR win list to go to compare with real life NASCAR win lists and champions and stuff. Because that's what people do like with real life, like people who hated the chase format, like every version of chase format, they always say, like, they probably Come always act like, like Jeff Gordon and Lewis four, the title five, and two. Like, like two or three. Edwards won 08 and 11. Stewart only has two as well. Kidlowski has like one, maybe, maybe for, they get for, for, for 2012. But yeah, it's just stuff like that. Like just recreating that's for history and stuff here. That's what I'm really going with, of course. I'm probably going to have a lot of different drivers whenever we get to the end of the curve, which will probably be a couple years from now. I feel like the season, like I can take like a month through season and take seven, a point, break two, between two, seasons. One. Um, and do the next season. Um, Definitely keep it within the 20 to 26, 7 race mark. I might keep the rosters of the 30 cars, like have all the full time drivers who were committed full time in that season. Like, I do want to do like different drivers, like different rookies um, throughout the time, um, but it's going to be really hard to kind of judge doing that, especially if we're trying to do rosters early. Like, I did for going to 05 already. Like, I did 05 early already. Six, along with three, nine. But yeah, we'll see how it goes as we get probably through 05 and 06 here. But yeah, right now definitely a good rookie season for me. It's, it's gonna look funny though because I'm running the rookie season with Hendrick, and I might be running the Gibbs car, Gibbs number 11 next season, because that's going to be an available car, and I don't want to replace Vickers in the you know, 5 or 8 season for rookie season. point six, fourth, Kyle five, Busch comes in and he's tearing the body. I want to keep that in the room. And I can't replace Jeff Gordon or Jimmy Johnson because they're probably going to be very good for seasons to come in these uh, the cars are in right now. But yeah, man, Jimmy right now, though. Alright, up to 13th here, so yeah, just had a very bad start in this one. And we'll get close to laughing with Terry Lamonti and Joe Nemechek. He's going to have a bad run again, too, out here. 20, Sammy Curry will have the first, and nine, it's going to be Kurt oh. to me. I'm really getting on Kurt right now. You see, I have the uh, active intervals, so you like the intervals of how we're running right now, not by the lap. I don't really see any life cards yet. Um, the body is about seven, eight seconds ahead right now at the moment to me. So about five ahead of McMurray, but I can't see them. But McMurray probably sees them going into the first quarter. 26.3. Yeah, Dover is really kind of a fun track course to Monster Mile here. And um, yeah, and also I forgot to look up to who uh, won the race over real life. I saw, I saw it, thought I remember. I know Jimmy probably had one win here. He was, of course, very good at Dover his whole career. Makes it swept over a couple times in almost every couple years. Of course, 10 wins at Dover would get you there. the cross flag. We're halfway home. We're halfway here. Um, how many 20, races would you get ran at Dover? 0 2 to 2020, excluding people who ran at 0 1. Let's see. That's about 19 seasons of NASCAR racing there. 18, 19 seasons. Um, yeah, he's ran here nearly 40 times at least. Um, in the, it's in the 30s. I mean, he's won about a third of his career races here at Dover. I wonder how many DNS we've had here. No, 2015 he had a mechanical issue. That 20, kicked 6, him out of the 2015 point, chase 2, back, back in that year. And I know he, he, had, he had an issue as well, like in one recent year. Period. I don't remember how he did in time. I think he did pretty well. He ran top 10 both races. But, you know, I, I would not be shocked though, if Jimmy does run Dover and be in 20 It'd be more hilarious if he actually wins, too. 20, but six, I do want point, Jimmy to two, go to Atlanta, five, though. Three, I want to see. I want to meet him at Atlanta if he goes to the March race. Or drives to the March race. But he could show up there as Dover, too. Yeah, right now I'm catching Kurt Busch here, so... Am I going 
same funny issue where it's like the leader AI I just can't I can well I can run where, where I can run now second place, but I can't run the leader now. But yeah, I'm currently a lot faster than third right now, so so I'm easily running him. Twenty down. six. Well, Jamie one, McMurray eight, eight, gone. Nine. Well not too far gone just yet. But no, I do I don't I wouldn't mind McMurray getting second one too, but I'll be going for Bush to get a win, especially since he's been close this season. And I have to realize Casey Mears is going to get in the top ten. Kevin Harvick up here. He's he's been popping up here a little bit lately. Martin's still top ten. But Bonnie, he's gonna have another bad race in the road. Six feet. Stewart four, uh, fifteen, one. so Tony I have two out of three years one and Kenseth, yeah, he can probably go ahead and kiss his um paddle hooks two in a row goodbye here. But yeah, I'm, I'm almost kind of stuck behind Kurt Busch here because I don't want to bump into him and actually wreck him. Like I've been doing the drivers and accident this season. And yeah, it's kind of letting uh, McMurray get away. 20, Even I bump into one point here. Five, yeah, it's doing nine, no two. Car outside. Clear. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Alright, so this is going to be like Charlie again where I'm having these live traffic and try to run down. Run down if, you, if, you, if, you, if you saw Charlie, if you watch Charlotte. Get near the end of that race, um, I'll bring Jimmy down due to the, with the live traffic. Lavani, I do bomb under Lavani. He'd act like I wasn't there, and so he, he hit me and we both were just like, well, this is Terry Lavani. And a couple one, laps later, two. I had okay, the same mission happen with Bobby Lavani, and Lavani, Lavani actually spun out from this, and Lavani wrecked himself. Vicker and Popton, he went on his roof, and Wimmer came in and destroyed him. Oh, and McMurray gets into Terry Lavani. So Lavonis has no awareness with the lead lap cars getting near him. Car and I really had a bad one there, six, so yeah, point now two, Kurt Busch gets oh, back around me. Six. Clear Man, inside. Terry Labonte is just being right to me right now on the racetrack. Also think of tires again, very good, very good. Oh man! Don't don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Point don't crash, seven don't crash. five seven. Okay, perfect. I was trying to uh, hit hit F in then do the uh, thing to work, check the tire wear because just like what happened to uh yeah my my right front's getting cooked but it doesn't show it on the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna fall back here. If nothing, I'm gonna win this race. Mick Murray might just dominate this thing now because I can't. My tires are really bad. 20 laps to go. 20, 7.5, 4, 1. Dang, 42 is already gone. Alright, so I got my TV Terry in front of me, and he's been a real able to be a leader so far. Outside. Clear. Hey, my tires, my tires are getting very poor now, so I don't know if I can really make a run because if I just drive too hard to the corner, I I think with yeah, Wimmer on sales part of that too, so he he was kind of decent with the end and just the end. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's gonna be right. The yellow flag is out. Let's go! Race back to the line. Alright, nobody hit me. Oh Gordon. Great. All right, once you try to dive bomb, it and, and yeah, does it work? Outside. Clear. And okay, we're under caution. Catch up that. to the end of the pacing line. 42.381. Stay behind the six car. That was pretty big right there, too, for Jimmy. He got around me there, so, yeah, I'll have to hit and push me in there. So, yeah, me and Jeff Gordon just got together, so, no. I was trying to lap Brennan gone right there, and once again, um, yeah, the AIs have no awareness there. It road is well, now open. You know, the live cars should honestly have more respect for the leaders of the game. I know, I know this video game. Limit 35. Keep it under 3,000. You're, you're racing, you're racing car. with the leaders here. The leaders are lapping you. You should have some respect, especially near the end of this race for them. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the, the end of pit cars, road. And the pace car yeah, in turn I know, one. I know simulation. I shouldn't get mad about it, but literally like... 45. I should have not gotten right there. Oh, I should have not wrecked me right there either. The pace car in turn two. And now look, two Hendrick cars with a lot of damage here over Brennan God. 
all right, so let's uh real quick check the damage here or check the uh, incident out here. So I think it was just me and Jeff Gordon. So yeah, of course I spun up the racetrack. I think Gordon was trying to avoid me. So let's go to watch Star the incident for. So yeah, I'm right behind Brennan Gone here. I'm going to try to lap to to lap him. And yeah, doesn't give me enough room. And of course I go in the front person. Well, I knew that was gonna be caution right there then. I knew there, the leaders were coming up, and Gordon was just trying to avoid me, and then, yeah, I just went back down the racetrack and in front of him, unfortunately. So, yeah, sorry to my own teammate there. I don't know if anyone else really got messed up over this. We'll check real quick. No, nobody, everybody else was okay. Okay, so that's good. But, yeah, unfortunately, Jeff Gordon, who I said really need to have a good run this race, got caught up in that. The pace cars on the back straight. And, yeah, we'll probably go a lot down here. Thank you, Bernie Gone. Oh, Gordon got out, okay. The pace car in turn three. Go, go, go! Right. Limit 35. Keep it under 3,000 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 24 car. Yeah, so Jeff's gonna be in front of me. So at least I'm 24th in the race right now. That's a good thing. And I believe, too, the lap down car is just already inside lane here. Sometimes I know they will start fully lined up, so... Well, I mean, that ain't, that ain't really going to pertain to me. That's going to pertain to, like, the front of the field. But yeah, Wimmer, Green, Nemechek, and Vaughn, and LeBron, Terry LeBron, are all locked down. So let's have the new tires here, I guess, and give me a good run here at the end. Because I'll probably get some whoa, 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 awesome. All new tires. Oh, Jeff Gordon right there. And look, my three of the, my other rookie rivals right are the top minute, 10. Eight, Riggs, point nine, three, Star Riggs. Nine. He actually fell to 30th in the points getting passed by Jeff Burns. So yeah, good run for him here today. Mears, he's he's been he's had some good runs recently actually in the game. Uh, Casey Kane, top five here. He had a good one at Charlotte um, in 600. Then yeah, Junior's up here, of course. The Junior's the prime. Good day. Kurt Busch, he can probably go for the win here unless the lap car is really going to hurt him. Um, how many laps probably to go? All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a short run here to the end of this. But yeah, let's go ahead and see the uh, current like intervals here. Yeah, Bush has two two and two car two cars near him. Or in between him and McMurray. So unless they go into the inside lane, it's just gonna be both of them and someone behind can get an advantage here and go for the win. Kane can go for a first group in years, Riggs. Be the second first time winner. I'm the only first time winner so far in the season. Junior can get win number two, McMurray can get win number two, Kurt Bush can get win number one. We're going Maybe green next time by. Okay, we're on the lead lap. Stay on the outside line. Stay behind the 24 car yeah, Jimmy, on the outside um, line. Right now at the moment, Jimmy is close to the points lead, actually. I think we're tied. One minute, 15.4. That's nearly... One. That That's probably a four, nearly 13, 14 point gain. And as... Well, no, it's a six point gap right now. Okay, so... Yeah, he's he's ahead of me at the moment. Unless I get, like, to 15, he stays at night. And no, we're going to watch this interval. We're going to watch the battle for the lead here. Alright, so yeah, Bush and McMurray will be uh, will be behind each other. So yeah, don't worry about that, actually. We'll keep it up here. We'll see if Jimmy stays in the top 10. I like how I figured that out now we're going to do that. And, okay, that's, that's what we're going to think of now. We're going to do that. I to do, you know, I should just like do a like, run around on the racetrack or just a random race and just sit somewhere. And I just play with all the keys on the peers. I mean, I know most of them. Get ready now. You know, Go there's a way to do like an open chat on here, and I wonder if I can do the precautions if some happens where a caution should have came out. Because the game, like, like Texas, I'm a little tired. The caution probably should have came out right now. Green, green, but, green! Uh, all right, I don't know how many laps to go here. We're nearly at we're near 10 to go. But I'm going to try to stop it. I can't hear it. Hopefully, if I don't restart this for you. Have, wait, have I been in part of both bricks in this race so far? No, I wasn't, I wasn't in part of both bricks for a second, but I tried to take it after the first one. Because I ran into the back of Jamie McMurray. Alright, and I, I am going to pressure tires here too. Outside, 20, 5, point, All right, 7, Jeff, 7, Gordon. 2. Clear, oh, outside. Gordon, yeah, yeah, that, I knew this Clear, thing. outside. Focus mode here. 
Black flag. One more lap to go. Second crew win was at Daytona 2007. This is 2004. This man is winning three, almost three years for the this game. But yeah, I was back for full time. Just not enough for me. I was close though. I'll I'll take in second after that uh, right there with Dawn. Jamie McMurray, the underdog in this championship fight, I would say right now, wins here at Dover. And I'm going to get second. So Jamie There's McMurray the gets third it's crew. Over. We were tied for the wins going into this race too, by the way. Great job, buddy. Kurt Busch once again gets third. Dale Jarrett stays Dale, hangs on the fourth. Dale Jr. fifth, that's a big top five for him. He needs a he need to have a good run. For the points, Dale Jarrett too. Harvick, he's in the top within top twenty. He'll probably pass Biffle and Waltrip uh for spot in the points. But man, a cr a crazy finisher. I think against a lot of traffic. Keep it to 35. Really Keep it really under 3,000. Uh, yeah, McMurray. McMurray gets the race win here. Kate, a Sterling Marlin, another good for tonight. I really hate this. this is going to be his foul season. He's having some good, solid performances here. The race Jimmy is over. Johnson, Come well, on in. That is really going to hurt into points right now. Um, that's about 15 points I'm going to pull away by. So I'm going to be up 21 after this race. Yeah, Labonte has a decent run after his backup 600. Mayfield gets the top 20. Casey Mears. Oh, sorry, Dale. Dale Jarrett. Casey Mears. Looks like we're bent up on the back almost end. Top, top 20 finish there again for him. He was almost a top 10 finisher. Jeff Burton. Another good day for him as well, by the way. Um, Gordon. Yeah, the end of that race there was bad for him. Ricky Rudd, top 20. Rudd was starting the top 5, actually. Top 10. Yeah, name check another bad run. He'll be way outside of the top 20. And yeah, there's everybody else here in this race here. But man... Definitely, overall, a pretty solid race here at Dover. And, man, I could have literally made a great comeback in, to win this one here. So this is going to be career 9, 2004. But, man, I, I could have literally made a comeback to, and won that race. So that would have been uh, cr pretty crazy. Also, this might be one of the quicker races on Season 2, by the way. But, yeah, that'll do it here. So Jamie McMurray gets his third career win. And, yeah, like I said, he's probably an underdog for this championship here in 2004. He is going to be third in points here. Kerr Bush will keep four. Martin could pass four. Actually, Dale Jr. could pass four. Four. But yeah, that was uh, definitely a very fun one here, Dover. And I think next race will be Pocono. So let's go take a quick preview of Pocono, like always here. Let's just see what the difficulty will be. So this race will probably... I'll, I'm going to probably wait a couple days here. But man, 983 is the automatic? Man. You know, this game part was not a race. I mean, this was all the difficulty the game gave me, and I mean, it was not not a bad race at all. So, yeah, no, no, this is not the current points anymore, but like I say, Junior might be fifth right now. So, yeah, th this area is still kind of being battled for here. And Jamie, well, he's going to gain five points on me, but he's going to gain a lot more on Jimmy than he is going to gain on me here in this race. So, oh, yeah, we got to look at scoring um, before I end the stream off here. So yeah, Jamie Murray probably had the most laps led here at Dover as well. Um, I didn't get to lead it all from the pole here today, unfortunately, because of the bad start there. But yeah, the uh, AI do uh, get unfair jumps on the uh, on the player here as well. So I still get a bus point for the pole though. Dale Jarrett saw a run too, by the way. Um, Kane led like one lap in the race too there. See, so yeah, there he goes. There you have it. See, so yeah, McMurray led 45 of the 60 laps here. You know, I wish Kerr actually won the race. That would have been cool to see Kerr Bush get the win here on the season. Um... But yeah, McMurray had other plans here in this one. So that'll do it here for race number nine season. So we're nearly, we're two away from halfway through the season here on the series. Like I said, Daytona 500 will be on Saturday around noon. I said that really in the first stream. Um, I'll get that race recorded here in a little bit. Anyway, yeah, once again, thank you for watching here. And um, I, do, I do appreciate the support for the channel. Um, but yeah, that'll do, that'll do it for this race here. I'm really tired of just talking here. And yeah, 